In this video, I'm going to be removing a coolant flange that's prone to break on the EA888 engines and replacing it with one that's made out of milled aluminum. Hey guys, today I'm going to be installing a super simple and easy little part that goes in your engine and really is just a preventative maintenance piece, maybe you could call it. It's really just, uh, there's a part, your coolant flange that feeds your turbo that is known to fail. It's made out of plastic, and the one we're going to be replacing it with is made out of aluminum. So I'm going to be going through the process of getting that installed. This part was shared with me by the guy who makes it. The guy goes by JJ Johnson. He sells them online. I'll have a link below for you guys to click on that. And use it if you want to do this as well. So the first thing we're going to do is jack up the back of the car. What I've been told is this will help reduce the amount of coolant that you're going to lose in this replacement process. Next, make sure that you have some replacement coolant because you're probably going to need it. Next, I'm actually going to wait just a little bit because the car is a little bit warm. The car should be cool when you're doing this job. So that right there is actually the part that we're looking to get to. And that is a plastic flange that holds on the coolant line that goes into your turbo. So we're going to be replacing that.
so it's all back installed. Now we just gotta start the car and check for leaks. So that's pretty much it for this install. Uh, I let it run for about 10-15 minutes, checking it often to make sure that there weren't any leaks. Um, next step, I'm gonna go drive it around the block, but I don't suspect anything's gonna be any different. Uh, so, like I said, this is just uh, an enthusiast who uh, started making these because he heard about the issue and had a friend that had a shop that was able to do some aluminum milling. Um, so, yeah, if it's something you're concerned about, or now might be concerned about after watching this video, I totally suggest you checking them out and uh, they're pretty affordable overall. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comment down below, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe of course, and I uh, look forward to talking to you in the next video.